Hey everyone, and welcome. My name's Aaron, and today we're taking a look at the Doc Lloyd Face Ripper Fuzz. I'm playing my 60th anniversary Telecaster through my Jackson Newcastle 18. And here is my clean tone.
Wow. Okay. You guys. You guys. So the Doc Lloyd face ripper fuzz. Take a look at this thing. We've got a dinosaur. It's like a transformer dinosaur robot of some kind and it's just ripping your face. This is my favorite fuzz that I have ever played. It is absolutely severe, aggressive, gated fuzz. Uh, you know, I'm not a really like a fuzz pedal guy. I think I've probably said that before. I don't have a fuzz on my current pedal board. But honestly, after playing this thing, I might need to f somehow find a use for it. It is, it's just so fun. I, you know, I, when you start playing it, it was like, I forgot I was doing a demo. I'm just like playing licks and stuff and like messing around just because it's such an inspiring sound to, uh, to mess around with, even though I'm not that kind of a player. I'm like a pop uh, guy that likes melodies and sad songs and things like that. But yet, this fuzz totally inspires me. You heard it right when I kicked it on, all knobs at noon. Um, it's just like, it's just hilarious. Here's my clean tone. Kick on the fuzz and... You're in you're in another universe. What I love about it, a lot of times when you step on a fuzz, especially like a vintage uh, style fuzz, it's got like a volume drop and it kind of goes all hissy and uh, sounds like a mosquito all of a sudden. And you sort of have to adjust, you know, your amps volume and your guitar and things like that. And they're sort of notoriously uh, problematic when it comes to, you know, buffers and things like that. But this one, you just kind of plug it in and it sounds how you want a fuzz to sound, which is gnarly and fuzzy as hell. And it's got enough bottom end, crazy amount of bottom end and top end too. A lot of times a fuzz will chop one or the other. You'll, it's all of a sudden it's like, yeah, it sounds cool, but all the bottom end's gone. Or yeah, it sounds cool, but I can't get enough top on it to compete with like my other sounds. This one just kind of sounds great right out of the box. So as you can see, we've got fuzz, bias down here, and tone and volume. So the fuzz uh, does, you know, what it says, adds more sort of gain and uh, hairiness and fuzziness. Um, the bias was sort of turning up the severity of the gate and also making it like really sputtery and lo-fi sounding. So when I have that bias like all the way up, it's like crazy, uh, especially when I turn the fuzz all the way down. So this is like tone and volume, 12 o'clock, um, bias all the way up, fuzz all the way down. Again, here's clean tone. And... And if you let a chord ring, <laughs> it eventually does that, which is like one of the coolest sounds I've ever heard. It just dies and it's, it's like, it really kills the attack too. So if you're playing like, it, it almost like there's like a pre little pre-delay before the thing even kicks in. So that's gnarly, like as is. And obviously with a fuzz, it lends itself maybe a little more to sort of single note stuff or like power chord type of stuff. You're not going to hear a lot of uh, definition in the notes when with that thick of a fuzz. So, uh... The opposite is sort of if I turn the bias all the way down and then like the fuzz all the way up, this is a little more like hairy, not as gated kind of thing. So that's maybe a little more classic sounding and less sort of experimental, crazy gated sounding. And then it's got a ton of volume just 
just that you can just push volume with it. And then with the tone knob, you can either darken Like I said, it's one of those pedals that just inspires you. I don't care what kind of music you play. When you play a pedal like this, it's just inspiring. It makes you want to play crazy fuzz stuff. It makes you come up with stuff rather than, uh, you know, a pedal that's like, well, I guess I could use this for, you know, X, Y, and Z. This one is like, I don't normally use fuzzes. I'm not a fuzz guy. I play in a pop band where I'm like clean 90% of the time, but I'm like trying to find a use for this pedal because it's so inspiring to use and it's such a crazy fun sound it just uh it makes me want to write music and that's rare in a pedal and i'm not just like spinning my wheels here i need to keep this i'm sorry i just do i need to keep it it may not go on my board because i don't know how i'm going to use it right now but i will find a way to use it on my next album and whatever uh, is, is the next thing I end up playing guitar on. I'm just going to find a use for this because it's so cool sounding and so musical. You know, it's like, it's a fuzz that like, it's crazy sounding. Don't get me wrong. It's like nuts, okay? But I don't know, maybe with like some reverb and delay and maybe you like mellow out the fuzz like a little bit and the bias a little bit and you push a little bit of the tone and volume and like, let's get some other stuff on there. <laughs> I mean, what about that? So, honestly, using it like that, I mean, again, I'm not the world's best lead guitar shredder, okay? Admitted. But, but... If I was going to play a part like that or I was recording a band that wanted a crazy fuzzy sound or we were doing like a war on drugs, you know, seven minute jam out solo, uh, this is definitely the pedal I would use. Definitely go check it out for yourself if you get the chance. Highly recommended. That's it from me today. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>